You are going to be seeing us take out a handful of German Shepherds and we're going to answer for you the question you've been wondering, is the German Shepherd right for you and your family? Be very mindful and don't just buy for beautiful looks because this dog is unbelievably good looking. But genetics, straight garbage. All right, folks, we are back. This here is Harley. She's a nine-month-old German Shepherd. She's probably about 55 pounds. And this is exactly what I wanted to show you, was that poor genetics and or lack of socialization, but mostly poor genetics, makes this dog scared of everything. And that poor um, genetics, if, you, if you're getting from a, a breeder that's only breeding, that's only breeding for looks, because she's beautiful, but you can get a dog that's scared of everything. And then you'll get a fear biter. There's nothing to be afraid of, folks. Just absolutely terrified of everything. She's doing better. But this is the type of dog that when it was first dropped off to us, and I stepped out to greet the dog from 30 feet away, hackles up, screaming, barking as loud as she could, and then trying to back out of her collar. Just literally walking up as ca calm, casual as I could be to say hello. And this dog was terrified as if I was the goddamn Grim Reaper. So today, it's my five-year-old on a little silly toy. Tomorrow could be another dog, could be the mailman. It could be someone with a shopping cart. Guarantee you this dog's terrified of shopping carts. But you name it, this dog's going to be terrified of it. And that's no good because I understand you're scared, but if I ask you to sit, she must sit. I don't care if a shopping cart's coming. I don't care if you're a little scared, you have to stay with the obedience. Is she fully trained yet? No, but we're already 10 times better than she was. But the whole purpose of this particular episode is be very mindful and don't just buy for beautiful looks because this dog is unbelievably good looking, but genetics, straight garbage. Someone's going to come along and say, man, I'd love to have this dog's puppies because she's so beautiful. Do you know what her puppies are going to be like? Especially if it's bred with another Looney Tune male, you're going to have these same genetics. A dog that wants to run away from everything. Sit. No focus, just in straight panic mode. For what? So you may say at home, oh, just keep her away from things like that. Okay, what about the shopping cart? What about the gate? What about the leaf that blows. Well, how am I going to keep her? I'm going to shelter her her whole life, keep her in a little safe space. It, it, it's no good, folks. Stay away from dogs with shit genetics. All right. This is very far away from what the German Shepherd was supposed to be uh, when it was originally created. The dog is supposed to be unbelievably confident, dominant, strong, comfortable, no matter where you take them. Uh, think of a police dog. What kind of police dog would we have if it was scared of a little little four-wheel thing like this. What if you're out taking your nice German Shepherd for a walk um, and the garbage truck comes? You can't control that. And this dog is in straight panic mode and you're on a block where that garbage truck is just doing its thing and you can't escape it. And now you have a dog that's literally losing its mind because of a garbage truck? It's no good. So we got to stop making excuses for uh, dogs like this. So now you have to use heavy duty tools to overcome her stress level. She, she's almost as if there was like a, a freaking lion here trying to eat her. How do you get a dog to sit or down or stay on a place board or stay with you when it thinks it's gonna get killed? So it makes it very challenging. Can we fix it? Yeah, kind of, kind of. We're not gonna make her perfect, but we'll get her to a manageable level that she understands. Basically, you need her, as sad as it is, you need her to be more afraid of disobeying you than she is of the thing that she thinks is trying to kill her. All right, she needs to be more afraid of coming off this place board or leaving my side or breaking a sitter down than she is of a three-year-old running around in the background. And now I'm gonna make her stay on here because that's her job. Obviously she needs more work with this, but that's this tool, this, this uh, distraction, man. Every day is gonna be a new distraction for her. So long story short, stay very far away from this. Make sure you're meeting the parents of the dogs that you're trying to um, to buy a puppy from and make sure they are of sound genetics, 
um, stable temperament, and that's what this is about, temperament. The temperament on this dog, garbage. Other than this dog, the type of temperament you could expect from a German Shepherd that you should expect is somewhat the opposite of this. Confident, if not a little cocky, wary of, of strangers, but not out of control, okay? Uh, they are great uh, guardians of the homestead, uh, great companions, fantastic family dogs, but again, a little bit dominant. And if they're dominant, you have to put them in their place and keep them in their place, all right? Because if you get a German Shepherd, especially a working line one that thinks they're the top dog in your household, and you don't make it very, very clear that it is not the top dog in the food chain in your household, then it's gonna be uh, nipping at your children, uh, becoming food aggressive and running your entire household and then when you have family and friends over it's going to try to boss them around the same way and how do dogs boss people around uh, with their mouth with their teeth with their physicality and we don't need that we don't need a 60 70 80 90 pound dog uh, thinking it runs the show so yes german shepherds can be pretty dominant it's not a big deal they will also slide right into that beta position right underneath the uh, the alpha and be that great bodyguard. But you gotta, you gotta step up to that alpha spot. Now, a lot of people use beta. They say, oh, the dog's either an alpha or a beta, meaning it's really dominant or it's not. No, alphas are alphas, we know what that is. A beta is actually like second in command, all right? Like a bodyguard. An omega is what this is. An omega is bottom rung, freaking out because the wind blows. You don't want an Omega dog. You don't want that dog in a, in, a, in a litter of puppies that's hiding in the back shaking like a leaf. That's an Omega. Every litter has one usually. Sometimes it's the run of the litter. But that's what she is, man. Just really bad. I'm not saying she won't make a decent family dog, but imagine for a minute she's in, a, she's in your house and my daughter comes up with that toy in the house or some other toy with flashing lights and making sounds and she's just trying to play with her but she's so scared and she may be backed into a corner and don't expect a three four or five year old to understand dog psychology and that the dog is scared out of its mind and trying to do fight or flight well when it's backed into a corner and you take out the flight option it's going to go right to fight and that's how kids get bit usually because a dog's scared and a dog like this is, is prone to snapping or biting to turn off what they think is scaring them so not good so that wraps it up for that this is harley come in close you can get some looks at how pretty she is it's going to be tricky because of that let's see if she's scared of the camera get those little eye boogers out she has real pretty uh, eyes dog like this needs a lot of work sit good girl watch yes very pretty dog one of the prettiest i've seen mentally hot and freaking mess watch yes yep Hot mess, come on. This is Mr. Royce. He is a nine month old, all white German Shepherd. Very handsome dog, pretty big. He's uh, already 80 pounds, uh, pretty well trained. And that's because Tony started with him at two to three months old. 